morning. You coming in then? Good morning and happy Christmas, one and all. And what a show we've got lined up for you today. We really have. We'll be enjoying some mulled drinks that are perfect for Christmas from First Dates Barman. Merlin Griffiths will be here. <laughs> My old mate too. Denise Van Orton will be making a <laughs> Christmas Day traditional visit to the house. And she's going to be tucking into the ultimate cheese board. I'll be dishing up a masterclass in smoked salmon mousse and smoked macro pate that's perfect for the festive season. And we've got an exclusive performance from the world-renowned pianist. I'm so looking forward to this. Alexis French will be here. <laughs> And that's not all, because I also joined in the kitchen throughout the show by two top, 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 top chefs. They wrote that bit. Uh, who will be cooking for us today. It's good friends of mine, good friends of the show. It's the brilliant Golden Blackiston and Paul Ainsworth. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, Galton, what's on the menu for you? Oh, right. Yes, um, you're actually cooking. <laughs> I'm doing uh, layered pancakes of parsley pancakes with our own smoked salmon, right. uh, creme fraiche and a bit of caviar. That's what it is. A bit fancy. What about for you? Not pancakes on the menu. Not pancakes. I'm going to do I the... I can't believe we've got a Michelin star chef and you're about What's to do this. What's he doing? What's he doing? The ultimate Boxing Day sandwich. Right. Oh, yeah. which, is, which is what? Uh, is <laughs> it basically, it's just layers of filth. Whatever you've got um, left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cheese, ham, salami, but we're going to do it like an American street food truck style. Sounds pretty really good. Really crisp. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to me as well. And also, we've got our chefs, we've got the cupboards, a stock full of food. We just need a guest. So please welcome to the show a friend of mine who has taken 2023 by storm by starring in Ted Lasso, hosting the Eurovision Song Contest and releasing a very own Christmas special. It's the amazing Hannah Waddingham! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How are you? Really good. I'm in your kitchen. Welcome. Chef. You're in my kitchen. You've been, yeah, look, you've been talking. Cheers. 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 Look at that. I feel like I jumped in my telly. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so, what do you like in the kitchen? Can before I stay we start? in here with you now? You can stay in here. What am I like? Oh. What do you like in the kitchen? Um, what am I like, or what do I like? What What do you like in the kitchen? Are you an accomplished cook, or are you just? I, I don't actually know. Right. Because <laughs> I've never given it a go. We just. Well, you must have cooked before. Ish. What do you mean, ish? Toast. Toast? <laughs> Spaghetti bolognese. We can cover toast. I'm lighted at roast, a roast ish. Okay. But I can't work out whether I think I'm rubbish because I've never bothered. Right. Or if I actually am rubbish. So I need to learn. Well, we may find out that. Yeah, that, I, need, anyway. I need to learn. But we've got to chat to loads of you what you're going to be doing a little bit later on the yes. show as well. You're going to be sticking around. But I, I wanted to create a dish for... Well, I know it's the, these guys' favourite dishes, one of these guys' favourite dishes, one of yours. Yes. Because prawn cocktail was on top of the list, wasn't it? 100%. Like a 1982 old-school prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Brilliant choice. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make our own prawn cocktail. So first of all, what we've got to do is make our sauce for a prawn cocktail. So we're going to make our own mayonnaise. So I'm going to show you how to do another one of your favourite dishes, which is chicken as well. Hold on a minute. Why are you doing that? Why are you separating that? Because this is this is, this is is the mayonnaise. Right. So we don't buy our we mayonnaise. don't use white we, bit. No, we don't use the white mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> no, but this, you keep the egg whites if you want, but this, we're going to make our own mayonnaise. So mustard, yeah. a little bit of egg yolks, and you blend it. So this is making your own mayonnaise. Then, if you can pass me the veg oil, which is the white, that's the clear bottle there. Thank you. That's it. it goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like, you feel Cooking. like you've done something now, Cooking. is it? <laughs> but look, we now pour in the oil. Now, we, you guys all make your own mayonnaise as well, don't you? You must do. It's yeah. called emulsions now. Yeah, so you're taking emulsion. You can actually make your own salad cream with this. Right, if you can I? Uh, honestly, I'm a bit overwhelmed by all the learning. Right. How do you know when there's enough of that? If you're doing this classically, one litre of oil wow. to about three egg yolks. Which is why it's so filthy. So, which is why mayonnaise. When people go, I don't want butter on it, I'll just have got a low-fat option. We'll do with mayonnaise. You're spreading vegetable oil over the top of your sandwich. Lovely. But what you do with it is, if you wanted to, you can actually make, once you, you master this, yeah. you can then do your own salad cream. So I know you like salad cream as I well. Do. I do. Ha that salad cream is hard-boiled egg yolks. Yeah. Same as what I'm doing. Yes. Mustard, touch of vinegar, and you add a little bit of cream. Look at that. Look and how smooth that is. So the, you, you more oil, the opposite mm. happens. People think the more oil you add, the thinner it gets. No. The opposite happens, the thicker it gets. But yeah. one thing you've got to do is add the oil slowly, otherwise it separates and splits. So we can take a little bit of this. Wow. That is mayonnaise, oh. done. That's not it. Is that it? Well, that's technically yes, it, isn't it, gents? That's, yeah. Wow. They're too good to gossip them away there, but this is... Yeah, this talking is talking about your mayonnaise. I mean, I'm always an old school, you know. Yeah. Old school. Brand. What, the, yeah, the, the bought-in stuff? Yeah, but, but it's look, very white. Why is this so yellow? Because of the egg yolks that you've got in there. You've got really nice so it egg hold, yolks. Why does it go so white when it's a... Uh... Because they're not using the real thing. 
<laughs> that was a polite way of putting it. They'll edit that bit out. <laughs> exactly. No, they won't. No, they won't. <laughs> right, so we got lemon mayonnaise. Okay? This is so exciting! <laughs> oh lemon mayonnaise. God, Le lemon mayonnaise. Lemon, lemon zest. Lemon zest yeah. and lemon juice. All right, yeah. now if you can get some black pepper and pop that in there. Yes. A little bit of black pepper. Go on. She's cooking! So just a few turns. Oh. A few turns of that. A bit more, a bit more. Yeah. Nice little pinch of table salt, which is over there. Oh, just a, which one, him or him? Uh, that one, that's table salt, that's got sea it. salt. Got it, that. got it. Pinch. What's that dude that does that? Oh, uh, yeah, I know, What's you mean name? Ainsley. Salt B. No, no, not, not Ainsley. Ainsley, Salt no, B. No, no, the dude <laughs> that does that. <laughs> salt B. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who? What? You cracked me up. Ainsley's Percy Pepper, what are you on? <laughs> Ainsley, Ainsley no, does this. No, Take that no, away from him, will you? It's already started. You're the one that does that. Salt B. Who's <laughs> You know, I'm, it doesn't come to Norfolk very no. often, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> but he says it tastes nicer because... Oh, they're not... Oh, I've failed you already. It's, 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 salt in. You, you've got to put more salt in it. Who is salt? So, hey. so, who is salt? No, the one who does this... Like, is this a oh, character God. or is it a and, person? And, and, no, he owns a place and, in so Norfolk. You have to explain to, everything. He owns a place. Right. Listen, I aren't Next that door bad. to Harvey Nick. And oh, it's like he? a little, doesn't he? Is he there? Is he, he? Does? And he does, he does this weird thing with okay. his wrist, and that ma okay. makes it charges taste 700 nicer. quid for a steak. Yeah. 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 You've seen him, round circle glasses. No. Oh, yes. Bounces, he's... bounces off I of his exactly arm like that. There you go. Not yeah. Ainsley. Not Ainsley. Ainsley does love that. Ainsley. Not Ainsley, just Percy Pepper. He doesn't do that. It's Percy Pepper. Look, you're winding I was with him for 12 years. Right. Right. Bit of that. Have a taste of that. Go on, you can. Can I? Go on. Oh, too salty. For God's sake. Yeah, too no, salty. It's... I'm really trying not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Such a natural potty mouth. God. So, so, Honestly, no so idea that's the I'm... base. That's lemon mayonnaise. Yes. This, this is Mario sauce. Yes. Right? Oh, yes. So, Mario sauce, ketchup. Look at that. You can make your own ketchup if you want. These Lovely. boys would do. They're Michelin oh, star. A little bit of that. <laughs> Wait, you wouldn't use that? Yeah, of course you would. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Love that. Got it. They'd say that they made it themselves, but really they cheated. This is a little bit of spicy Tabasco. Nice. Then we got Henderson's. Yes. So What's like that? Worcester. Worcester. Well, yeah, but it's, this is from the north. Uh, this. Oh. And then we take a little bit Love of brandy. Way, so from the north, yeah. like brandy. Game of Thrones. Because yeah, like he thinks some... everything is better from, from the north. Yeah. Little, little bit of that, a little bit of lemon. Mix that together. A bit more black pepper. Black pepper. Yes, chef. Black pepper. <laughs> 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 and a bit more salt. Oof. Go for it. Pinch. Mm. Oh, do it like that. Four, yeah, twice that. Three times that. <laughs> and again. And again. Oh, my God. Easy. Right. No. Can I just ask, if you get warm in here, can you wipe your face with a tea towel? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. Right, next. Scampi. We're going to make our own scampi. Yeah. Gluten-free, self-raising flour. Ooh. Pinch of salt. Chic. Pinch more. of salt. More. That's, that's a pinch. More. Oh my God. More. <laughs> so your pinch is that. Yeah. That's it. And then we take cider, right? Yeah, we do. The cider. Mix yeah. this together. And then over here, this is, this, is, this is scampi. So scampi used to be, back in when prawn cocktail was fashionable and we used to have scampi in a basket, Yeah. this was always scampi. So these are called Dublin Bay prawns. Wait a minute, can you just rewind? I wasn't concentrating. What went in there? The gluten-free gluten ginger. Gluten-free flour. Yes. Self-raising flour. That, salt. Cider. Cider. And salt. Yeah, nice. Then, peeled longestines. Oh. You take these. These go in. <laughs> I don't want to share this with anyone. Sorry. I'm sure you're all lovely, but... And then, <laughs> we come over to our deep-fat fryer. Yeah, we do. Oh, <laughs> God, this is great. The deep-fry these. I mean, I'd have an old shoe with that sauce. Yeah, but these go lovely. in here. Right, now I, know, I need you to man the fryer. I feel like that's going to be an accident waiting to happen. No, it's, it'll be fine. So, what well, I, don't they cook quickly? Yeah, they, they're not ready yet, but they just want to go lightly golden brown and then take them out. All right, and then I'll cook a second batch. I wouldn't want one of these in my house. That's going to make the place stink. What, fryer? Yeah. I'd rather go to a restaurant. You cannot do this in an air fryer. In a different... There's yes. people. No, you can't do this in an air fryer. There's people that's going to be having air fryers. Father Christmas brought air fryers. I mean, I'm not to... going to lie, I have just bought one. <laughs> what, an air fryer? I have. <laughs> Can you get a close-up on that aggressive look, please? <laughs> What's wrong with an air fryer? I heard they're Where great. do you want... The... We've only got an hour and a half. For a non-cooker... Yeah. I think they're good. No. Melba toast. Air fryers, no. 
deep fry, deep fry. So look, you melt the toast, you take the bread, toast it both sides. Yes. Rub off the excess, this goes under the grill. That's nice. going to go under the grill. Keep nice. your eye on the scampi. Keep your eye on the scampi. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to slice the lettuce for our prawn cocktail. Can How's I just the check what I'm keeping an eye on? What? The brownness. <laughs> Wait, right. the brownness. Give them a quick stir. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and they're going to come. They're going to come out, right? Now you can take them out. Okay. Now you can take them out. I feel like I'm perhaps in yourself. the wrong outfit. <laughs> <laughs> right, they can come out in there. All of it. Get the scraps as well. Oh, we're getting the scraps. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet they're the and best. While you're bits. doing that, I'm going to put the next lot in. All right. So oh then, God, these I'm are good really, I can feel anxiety of not wanting to share any of this with anyone. Just What's that? <laughs> so these are, up. these are the little longest. It's your favourite, you see? Yeah, yeah. You take these in here. So you deep fry those. You're going to cook these exactly the same as what I've just done over there, and then take those ones out. Aren't you glad? Them? I said I don't want a deep fried fill. Absolutely. I'm glad you didn't say just use the air fryer that you got. But anyway, <laughs> that, <you> just. <laughs> so then, what we're going to do that? I'm going to take my little bit of lettuce over here, and we're going to make our classic prawn cocktail. I don't know what you put in your prawn cocktail. Whether you put lobsters, bits and pieces, but I think nice little bit of shrimp and a little bit of crab. Yeah. Can I just ask? I can smell the toast, chef. When do I? When do I? Oh, give good them thinking. the move around. Hey, just, just got it. Oh. Just got it. Okay, just got it. Just Is got that it. right? <laughs> moving them a bit. I got you. Oh. I got you back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, go on. This is why cooking's not safe. <laughs> we'll just lose that bit. We'll just hide that bit. <laughs> Shut up, Aisman. <laughs> he got you out of trouble there. Yeah, I, know I got you out. I got you out of trouble. I know you did. Meanwhile, over here, I'm going to take the shrimp that we've got on here so to make up. So we've now got no Melba toast. No, we have. Does someone need to go to the shop? No, that's <laughs> so, so we've got the crab over here. And I'm going to take this, take your amazing sauce. Wait, so make. hold on, is that all That's all raw? That, no, that's no. cooked. Oh, it's cooked. That's cooked. Oh, this I, is... The gold's like, oh, no. <laughs> this is crazy woman. <laughs> this is all cooked. Are these done? I feel like these are done. Yeah, yeah they're I've done. I've done my take first bit of cooking by myself. Take them I out, judge done. that. Take them out. And then I want you to sprinkle them with a bit of salt. We then always got to have a little bit of mustard crust. Don't you agree? Mm. A little bit of mustard. Am I in danger of oversalting here? You probably put too much salt on it now. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let me wipe that in my eyes because there's now salt. In <laughs> Look what you did! That one. Oh, that thanks. one. Then wedge your lemon. Sits with it. That's going to go in there. These are actually lemons. They look like. Oh, that looks great. They're called tiger they lemons. Like. They're tiger lemons. They look amazing. What's a tiger lemon? It's got ben. stripes on it, like that. <laughs> Them, Hannah. <laughs> it's, got, it's got stripes on it. I don't know. I've never heard of them until today. <laughs> aren't they great? They are, aren't Look they? at that. And then I've got my Melba toast. Right, if you can bring all the scampi as well. On this or hot. Mm. As it is, there we go. We'll place that on here, like this. And then I'll do this. We'll lift that on here. Bit of that. I hope I've salted correctly. I think they'll be all right. They look all right. Oh, look of, at those. Bit of those. Oh, amazing. amazing. Yeah, no try way. doing them in an air fryer. Oh, I'm going to have a go. No chance. In all seriousness, I, I do need to understand what's wrong with an air fryer. I think it sounds quite healthy. How are you going to get a batter in an air fryer? <laughs> well, I don't know. You t I, I, that's exactly what I was trying to say. How are you going to get a batter in an air fryer? irritated you are by an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Better that, and then... Because to go back to the 1970s, we then take curly parsley. Ah! Oh, there you have it. Your classic prawn like cocktail, cooking. Melba toast and scampi Very good. cooked by us two. Yes! Very good. yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back. Now, Galton Blackiston will be causing havoc in the kitchen. That's coming up next. And I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide to make your very own salmon mousse and smoked mackerel pate in this week's Little Masters. But first, I'm here with a woman who's taken 2023 by storm and has gone on to become an award-winning actress, a full-blown national treasure as well. It's the amazing Hannah Waddingham! Oh, God! Yeah. Yeah. Don't cook, I'd be very tired. <laughs> you are Christmas. You officially are Christmas. So, we, we, uh, looking at your list of food, we did the prawn cocktail. I know you wanted roast chicken, didn't I you? Wanted, I wanted my death row meal. Which is this? Yes. Roast chicken, chicken. potatoes and a sauce with yeah. it as well. So, we're going to start off by the chicken. I'm going to base the chicken with butter. And I know you love your tarragon I as well. love tarragon. I feel like it's underused. We're always surrounded by coriander. Right. <laughs> and I love tarragon so much. So, I'm going to tarragon... I'm going to make a butter for it and put it inside the chicken and we're going to roast it off. I'm going to serve this with what I think are the best roast potatoes around. They're not crispy roast potatoes, they're called pom fondants. So this is classically, classically French cooking, I suppose. Oh, this was. chic! Where Let's I where I trained really with this one. But first of all, I want to go oh back my to God. So hold on. Look at the amount of butter. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, they're supposed to do that and then link to you while I'm doing that, so people can't see this. But you see... That is a ridiculous. This is just a small amount of butter. Oh, it's great. You ain't seen nothing yet, Hannah. Wait till you see the potatoes. I feel like that's the first time you and I spoke. I was like, what is your problem with butter? But that was, that, yeah, it is. That's the first thing you yeah. said. It's not a problem, it's just... It's, it's oh, just I a... love it. I'm so here for it. Exactly. So what we're going to do is take this butter and then put it under the skin. But this bit is all about you, you see? Sorry. It's not about the chicken. I don't like talking about me. It's not, well, I know you don't, but I want to talk to you about... Come because, on, then. Because what, what, you can't have imagined what's happened in 2022. No. It's just gone boom! Yeah. Yeah, I but mean, you put you put in. I've known you. You put in so much work. Yes. So much work. Yeah, I'm an old school theatre girl grafter. You know, like and you, I'm a bit of a workhorse. Well, I think that it it is similar sort of backgrounds in terms of you know you've got to put in the workload in in kitchens. You yeah. Know, kitchens and and I suppose the theatre is the ultimate kitchen. Absolutely. In terms of what you do. Absolutely. You're doing. There's no there's no kind of switch off. Even when you've got a day off, you're in bed going. Uh, <laughs> Checking all your voices there, so you don't. There's no stop, but, and but, it's all live and. Yeah. But also failure and success, a bit like food, hand in hand in terms yeah. of what you do. You've got to admit yeah. failure because you've gone to auditions and you yeah, must get. Yeah, of course, no. yeah. But, and I always say for for everything that anyone's ever seen me don't do. See this bit. There's, I mean, that's just offensive. Don't see this bit. Poor just, chicken. I'm loosening the chicken. Go skin. on, get in there. Don't look at me. Look at him. <laughs> and then the, look. the butter's going to go underneath. Woohoo! Like look at that. Ah! <laughs> so, but tell me, tell me how it all started for you then, because... Imagine if someone did that to you. That's just offensive. Well, um, to be honest, I'd probably like that anyway. They don't need to be do that to me. This is I do feel like if they cut your arm off... See, this is probably what I look yeah, like anyway. If they cut your arm off, it'd be full of butter. It'd be full of that as well. <laughs> but, but you, I mean, you, you were born into some... Not a showbiz family, but your, your mum... Yeah, my mum... Well, my mum... My mum's from the Isle of Man, very proudly. I'm very proud half Manxie. And uh, both her parents were opera singers as well as her. So it's very much in the bones. So you, you, were, you were brought up with that sort of atmosphere. That yeah. Sort of, but why, why didn't you want to go into the opera bit? You went into the West oh, End. I what? purposely didn't. And she always used to say, you know, when opera singers talk, they kind of talk still singing. Right. And she's always kind of said, you know, does it not hurt? When you would sing like shouty, shouty singing, as she calls it. Right. But um, they were always brilliantly supportive and always knew that I wasn't going to do anything else. You know, I wasn't interested in school. But, but theatre, so, for you, it's just a, a natural yeah. fit, really. Yeah, I mean, you... yeah. That, that's why I was a bit like, you know, when anyone sees you on telly and sees you sing a bit, they go, oh, you do that, and you just think, 22 years of my life was that. Yeah. On and off the tube, going to rehearsals, having no life, because I was completely devoted to that. I've mm. never been, like, hugely ambitious. I just wanted to always work in a theatre environment it where... It seems to be you know, that you are content with that as doing Yeah, that. yeah. And I love being around the crew and front of house staff and all of it. The immediacy of an audience is is my drug. So are you comfortable with what's... Chicken goes in the oven. Yeah, now thank and, you very now much. Now in ten minutes. Right, hold on. On to... 200 degrees. 100. 200 degrees. Got it. Now in ten minutes. Bosh. Yeah. And that goes in there. Uh, yeah. So are you comfortable with that sort of... that where you are now in terms of... Oh, no, I don't know what to do with myself. It seems to me that you just... It's, it's gone... 
Well, I, I mean, Ted Lasso, I've got to mention Ted Lasso as well, because yes. that, that must have been amazing. You can't have imagined that being successful as it no. was, really, when well, you were actually, doing it. Well, actually, we shot the whole of season one, and myself and Brett Goldstein, who plays Roy Kent, for people who watched it, um, we both stood behind, like, the, the snacks truck, where I'd usually be able to be found, and, um, and I was like, I don't think it knows what it is. Do you? Cut to three seasons later and 62 Emmy nominations, I think, and something ridiculous. The most streaming ridiculous. TV yeah. series ever? Yeah, yeah. Billion. Freshman, the most, the most awarded freshman show ever in the Emmys. But all that, you Mental. seem to have got it at the right... You, you know, theatre was that, all that grounding for that. Yeah. Stood you in the time for that, because, you know, doing stuff for the... You know, channels like Apple, like Amazon, yeah. like all that. Yeah. The streaming thing's totally changed. Netflix has changed the yeah. way... I know film is a big, passionate love of yours as well. Yes. It's, but that's all changed it's, the way well, we... TV has become kind of equal in a different way. Yeah, TV is um, very different to what it was before. Yeah, People very... Watching it oh, my God, it's, it's, it's really a revered... Um, platform, um, but the Ted Lasso thing was crazy, and it came kind of out of nowhere. I'd been doing really, you know, stuff that I was really happy with, sat satisfied with, and then that came along. And I mean, I went over for a chemistry read with Jason Sudeikis, and it was like two hours that felt like twenty minutes. You know, we just understood each other straight away. And I thought, when he said that it was going to be shot in Richmond. I went, what, Richmond, Virginia? This was, went, this was your interview, yeah. right, when you did that? And he, went, and he went, no, Richmond, Richmond in England. And I just thought, I will literally rugby tackle any woman who thinks she's having this part over me. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was just incredible. And he and Brendan Hunt, who plays Coach Beard, and Brett, they're all massive theatre fans as well. Yeah. I mean, they know far more about musical theatre than I do. I've so, seen you put more butter in there. You, no, see, you spotted lovely, that. Lovely. But gorgeous. I mean, theatre, what a, what, a, what a grounding, really, for what, yeah. what, you, what has then be, become. But that's why it'll never go to my head, because I wouldn't know how to. And, and when you kind of... When people start kind of realising what you do in your mid to late 40s, you are very much who you are, and that's not going to change. Yeah. You know? I well, I'm talking all. about very much who you are. I, I want to talk to you about what you what you're launching and what you're doing as well. Yes. I mean this this thing for Apple TV. This. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am interested in talking. But garlic, what? garlic, rosemary, chicken rosemary, stock. Rosemary, rosemary with the oh. chicken stock. <gasps> garlic, rosemary, chicken stock. You wait, take where's the chicken stock from? Do you, do you just supermarket? Buy it? <laughs> you can't make it yourself. So, garlic, rosemary, chicken. You've got to buy the liquid chicken stock, though. Two cloves smushed. Two cloves smushed in there. Gosh. Roast it off with the chicken for yes. about 45 minutes. The best chocolate. God, you make the, everything look so blooming easy. It's the best really form as well. You make this look easy, and I definitely know it's not, because this is this is this. I've known you for a while now, and if there's anything that is you, it is this. Yes. You must have been involved in every I single element of this. Me being an EP on it should be extra picky because so, I just kept. Tell playing. everybody what it what it is first of all. We, this is very special for you, not just for personal reasons yes. as well for your mum and the, yes. the place where it was. Yes. Before we see a little bit of yes. it, yes. Set it all. Um, I approached Apple with my manager and we said, you know, let's do a different Christmas special. You know, the ilk of Dean Martin meets Carol Burnett, where we have kind of sketches and stuff as well but could it please be at the London Coliseum, as much as I love the places like Carnegie Hall and Radio City, amazing places that I was privileged enough to kind of have offered to me. Um, the London Coliseum, I've been there since I was eight because my mum was in the chorus Carnegie there. Hall, you've got to do it at home. You've got to I, do it in, well, in, my got it in the My first foray into it, yeah. And I used to run around that place like a little girl with, like in Harry Potter, running around the corridors, talking to the loo staff and the canteen and staff. This is and your, this is your Christmas show. This is, yeah. this is you. And, I've known you. What you've done with this, and we're about to show you a clip of it, what you've done with this is take to television, I think, back to how it should always be, but you've just pushed it on a million times forward. Oh, you, what you've done is gone, you, Anna Waddingham, have it! Bash! <laughs> do, do, and yes! You, you, you're left with, like, what... what Normally, yeah. this would be struck out for two hours. You've just gone 45 minutes, yeah, 45 have it all. 45 minutes, concentrated bosh. Yeah, well, yes. we're just about to see a clip of this. <laughs> what, look, look, look and listen to this. He's <laughs> got a sleigh full, he's not gone to stay full. He's got stuff to drop at every stop of the way. Everybody's waiting for the man with a bag, cos Christmas is here again. He'll be here with the answer to the prayer that you made. You've done everything you should. Extra special good he'll make. 
this December The one you'll remember The best and the merriest you ever did have Everybody's waiting for the man with a bag Christmas is here again Hey, Southern Yell! That has just I'm depressed... Some of that. It's depressed every producer, every director, everybody in television going, what do we do now? What do we do, what do, we do now? I mean, that must have been incredible. Amazing. That, that is, you're live. You're, you're yeah, live. completely live. But every that... every single voice you hear is completely live, on the spot. No one's gone into a studio and tweaked anything, added anything, nothing. And also your guests as well. I've got to mention your guests. Oh, my God, The my choir guess. was amazing. The, yeah. the lighting's amazing. Yeah. But tell me about the guests, because I... I tell me about this one guest in particular, this this. You this loved gentleman. Leslie Odom Jr., didn't yeah, you? Yeah, Leslie. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so Leslie, what, what is... he's there. Um, I've always known his voice and, and loved it, if you, if you look at his work. And that man can sing his face off. Amazing. I have to say, he was the person I was thinking, oh, God. Really? When you were sat there, didn't When it? you look at me, I literally, like, I've won a competition to sing with him. So, <laughs> so where, can, where can people find this, then? Where can people watch this this Christmas, On then? Apple TV. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to be, you know, just on there all the time every Christmas is the plan. That's the plan as well. Well, yeah. next time I'm definitely coming to watch it. You as well, are blooming coming because you couldn't come this time. I uh, know I couldn't make it this time. But look, look, we got an ear. We got, I wanted to do this chicken, so we yes, got an yes, ear. Yes. This is your, this is your fond of potatoes. Hold on a minute. I didn't see you do the mushrooms. When did they happen? So the mushrooms just happened while we were playing okay. you singing. Got it. Uh, the sauce is reduced down with some. Uh, I've got some Madeira in there, a little Wait, bit I of cream. Have a look at this. Is that butter in there as well? Oh, there's, look at the cream. There's butter going in there in a minute. So this is called Montebello. Oh, so Can we just have a word for how you take butter out of... What on earth was that? It's like a caveman taking butter. Another bit. Look at it! <laughs> just a, do you know what? It should be a thumb of butter. Yeah, so that goes oh. in there. Now, now I want you to stay here, because you can have a taste of this. The tarragon butter I've got on here, so you've got the roast chicken. Whoopsie daisies! <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of skin. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, and then we've got the mushrooms, look. Mm. Mushrooms going around the edge. But the, I know... I don't I, need him. OK. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> what did you do those in? Butter. Right. Yeah. And then we're going to take a little bit of this. Mm. Bit more cream. Bit more cream. Yeah. And then I just want you to just, just taste this. Just taste this. This, this, this is where you finish it off with this sauce. And then we take that. How do you ever go and eat anywhere else when you can cook like this? I don't. I stay here. Or you invite the greatest, greatest chefs in the world to come and cook for you. Oh, how civilised. But a little bit of that. But before I want you to go, because you're going to dive into this... Wait a minute. I just want to get a bit of him and do a dunk. I am listening to you. OK. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, mushroom. Oh. Oh. You haven't tasted anything yet. Where do you taste this? This, 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 this. But these are potato fondants. Now taste this. Oh, too hot! Mmm! Butter, stop. 45 minutes in the oven. Happy with that? Mmm! There we have it. My mm. roast chicken, sautéed mushrooms, fondant potatoes, and a nice little chicken sauce. Done! Mm. <laughs> Off you go. Get to dive in. We didn't even mention the new film you're in, Mission Impossible film as well. Oh, I thought you were going to say The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Oh, and Tom Cruise. Tom, oh, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, Cruise Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise, Tom Cruise. Cruise, Cruise. Yeah. That Tom must Cruise. be... Um, are lovely, you in production lovely. of that? Lovely, Yes. Uh, we... I need to shoot another kind of main scene with right. him. I have right. to say, I don't... Have you ever met him? Yes. Isn't he Fantastic. the most... I have to Charming say, cat. I've got a real problem with anyone that goes at him now. Having met him and spent five days intensely yeah. um, on the W.W. Bush fighter carrier, yeah. five days, no fineries, all of us mucking in like this for five days, he is without doubt one of the most lovely and encouraging, positive, inspiring human beings I've Great, ever so, met. Know, Isn't exactly, he gorgeous? Yep, he's eaten my restaurant many, many times. There, I have fantastic. no time for so, anyone saying anything about him. Go on then, dive into this. Gorgeous. So oh this is your God. roast potato, your roast chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> Extra tarragon. It's waited a long time for you to cook for me. <laughs> 
Happy with that? Oh, so happy. Good. We'll leave it in peace. Leave it in peace. <laughs> uh, now we'll be giving you a masterclass in making summer mousse and smoked mackerel pate a little bit later. I'll be joining the festive drinks from the genius bar of Merlin Griffiths in just a bit. You can carry on eating Those if you want. mushrooms with that are what tip it over the end. There you go. Uh, but see you back here in a few minutes uh, when we've got uh, smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, and first aiders at the standby because Gordon Blackiston is in the kitchen and he's attempting one of his trademark dishes. I'll see you in a bit. Get your thumbs back in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Christmas Day at my house. Now we'll be enjoying some aperitifs and the ultimate mulled rum and cider, courtesy of Merlin Griffiths. That's coming up shortly. And we've got a very special festive performance from the brilliant pianist Alexis French. I'm so looking forward to that. That's coming up a little bit later. But first, I don't want a lot for Christmas. I just need one thing. I just need this next chef to get through this recipe without any accidents, injuries or cock-ups. Yes, you've guessed it. It's Gordon Blackiston! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you, pal. Thank Happy you. Christmas, yeah, right. pal. And to you. Uh, and Paul, to you. You're, you're, you're looking at this recipe going, this is, this is going to be special, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be special. This is it's, <laughs> it's like carry on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this will be all right. This will be all right. Give so, me the opportunity, this will be all right. What are we going to make, then? Right, we've got a smoked salmon and parsley pancakes, and they're layered up with uh, creme fraiche in between. Right. We do our smoked salmon at more... Oh, in fact, I want you two to try this and tell me... So this is your smoked salmon? I'm... Well, you shouldn't have said that. Right. Because I wanted you to tell me which was the best, because I know now what's coming. What, is there two different ones there, then? Yeah. 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 Right. He obviously didn't want us to taste his one. Yeah. No, I gotcha. did. I did. I've guessed it already, I think. What's what? That? I think I've guessed... Which, one? which one's best? Which is, no, not which one's best, <laughs> but which one's yours and which one's the... Yeah. I think... Yeah. The one by your hand... Yeah. ...isn't yours. Yeah. And I think the one that you carve first... Well, is to be fair, it wasn't rocket science, was it? No. So, right, so that's that. So but what does that prove? No, it's just that oh, we, okay. we do our smoked salmon. I think it's all right. So what do you want me to do? Pick the parsley? Right, I want you to pick a like load of really parsley. Pointless we're exercise. making the pancakes, <laughs> right? First of all, first of all, we're making them. I haven't put the flour in yet. Oh, okay, right there, you go. Flour, two hundred and twenty grams, plain flour. I've been yeah. so looking forward Two to eggs, this. and you know what? <laughs> so far, it's not disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Pinch of sugar. Right. This is your pancake mix. Yeah, and milk. How much milk? Uh, 750 milk. OK. Do you want to get that on? 700, yes, please. 700? Yeah, 700 okay. milk. This goes on here. So yeah. when this goes on here, your idea is you, you then slowly add the parsley, is that right? Yeah. Well, you don't slowly add it. You can add it in one pound swoop if you want, but let that get going first and foremost. Have your pan on ready. You need to make these pancakes in advance, the mix, the batter mix, all right? So you make it a little bit in advance and let it rest for a bit. OK? As you'll notice, Paul, these are my... This is my pan. It's an old one. Do you know Cos he ruins them all. Everything I bring over here, he'll ruin it. What's that? Pans. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you, so you blend green... this until it goes green? Yeah, go on, leave it on, then. OK. And have a look. I want this quite hot. So blend it, it's nice and green, like that. Blend it a bit more, maybe. Yeah. But that's that one, yeah? Meanwhile, this is your pancake pan. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, it's a nice, real thin pancake. Yeah. Thin nice. pancakes. Right. And there's a reason why I do it. You'll see it in a minute. You can't start turning it until it's ready to go. Ah, yeah. that's the reason for the bent <laughs> palette knife. Exactly. Do you want me to slice some of this while we're waiting? Yeah, nice and thin. Use okay. my knife, please. Right. So, slice this through. Thin? Well, you want to see if it, you, you want to see a knife for it, <laughs> <laughs> nice and thin. Yeah, there we go. Bit of that. So, yeah. how many pancakes do you need to make? Uh, well, I'm doing uh, twelve layers, but you can do as few as you want or as many as you want. Okay. So, is this a dish on your menu then? Is this? I, I love this dish. We serve it as canapes right. at Morston. So, at tell, tell us about Morston then. What I mean, Christmas time at you, for you must be amazing in hotels, isn't it? Uh, Christmas time, we actually close. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Never used to. We always used to have dealer. What about you? Do you, do you? do you stay open or...? Yeah, we're open. Yeah, all, all so right through our Christmas and... Right through our Christmas and New Year, so, um, yeah, great atmosphere. Right. Right. 
Mind yourself. So I'm slicing this away. So we've yeah, got. So good. I presume. Can you make these and freeze them? These pancakes. Yeah. So you get your pancakes like so. Yeah. Spread it out. That's quite nice and green. Yeah, I'm quite it's happy lovely with that. colour, isn't it? Really right, nice. There we go again. You making all twelve? In, in not, real time, Golden. No, I hope not. Say, no. King, King Speech is on at <laughs> three o'clock, all right? I'm just going to do a couple of I've got a cheese these. toasty to make. And then I'm well, going right? to show you. <laughs> and I might need to have a shave again. <laughs> <laughs> we could leave you here and come back to you. Sure up and let me get on with it. <laughs> let right. me get on. I've done. Well, That's all I'm doing. Two. Is that it? Two. Right. Put a piece of grease proof in between them. Yeah. So we've got that. And you're going to make this, you're going to layer it all up. Do you want me to mix the creme fraiche together? Uh, yes, please, with a touch of lemon. Right. So you make of... these, let them go cold, then you're able to take them off, OK? Right. Like this. You've got to make it up on here, I think. Yeah, OK. Right. So lemon. once they're cold, so you've all got them done, they're all cold, yeah. now you start like this, it's a bit thick. Right. A bit thick. It's a bit thick. You can't see your fingers through there, can you? <laughs> it depends how big fingers you've got. <laughs> right. Lemon juice on it? No. Be all right. Put it at the bottom layer, it'll be fine. This is called a tiger lemon, by the way. Yeah. I've got lemon juice in it. No, I want it on here. All right, OK. Do you want black pepper on there as yes, well? Yes, please. And I don't go to the edge, cos you waste it, cos um, you can either cut it round and fresh. Now it goes on. Oh, yeah. now where's my thing? Yeah. Right. You need a bit of time this Christmas, though, don't you, to do this? Yeah, but you do it up and it's done. Oh, OK. That's the thing about it. Right. To do 12 layers could take quite a long time, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but then it's done. Right. That's what I'm trying to get through well, to you. Like Christmas is over, please. Sure up. Let me get on with it and get this done without <laughs> minimum hassle. <laughs> Press it down. Mm. So, then you end up with something which looks like this. This is travelled from Norfolk? This is travelled from Norfolk. You weight it. Once you've got your 12 layers on, you weight it. Why don't you just chuck that there, Paul? Hang on, I've just put... Well, no, it's put it. Right. Then, there's several ways of going about this. If I'm doing it at Morston... Doesn't travel well, does it? <laughs> It was all right. <laughs> then Did you break? Uh, you look, 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 look. <coughs> you see that? Right. That's, that's a mate. That's all right. See that? Yeah. Some look, some look. But I didn't put the creme fraiche in between mine. Why didn't you put the creme fraiche in between? Because I was going to say... I don't know. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're serving as a canapé... Yeah. You can see why you need to press it. What did you press okay. it with in the car? A brick. And then you serve it like that. <laughs> the spare side. Standing on there like that. In the footwell. <laughs> you see what I mean? Or you serve it as a square, as a starter. <laughs> Taste it. It's nice. I thought that was a starter. <laughs> it would be at Mawson. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the creme fraiche with it, you know? Right. But you see, that looks lovely. Yeah. Looks nice. Like so. Nice with the creme fraiche in it, though, don't you? No, because it makes it harder to slice at home. Can we slice this one? Yeah, you're just going to see now. Can I have your knife? Go on, one? you have that. You can slice it if you want, but no. you've got a thing on the Which one do you want to serve? This one or that one? I don't know. We'll see. Have a look. Try and get a wedge out of that. But there's a thing in the bottom of it, isn't there? I thought you were. Wipe your knife. <laughs> How much are you giving? People won't want that big a piece. You aren't for real at times. <laughs> this? Knife? Yeah. Nice with the creme fraiche in it. Nice with the creme fraiche. Right. <laughs> it is nice with the creme fraiche. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the recipe says. <laughs> <laughs> right, good luck, mate. Happy with that? Mm hmm. Right, and then we've made a, a lemon puree, which is just literally lemon juice, touch of gelatine. Oh, blimey, that is that. Tastes a bit like. Oh, blimey. 
Just a little bit of that. Nice, though. Nice. You either put it on top or should I put it to the side? Maybe on top. Okay. Right, Next. So, caviar, mm. optional, obviously. Um, I quite like caviar. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I'm I quite like it. my I'm old knife as well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Bit of that. Yeah. A little bit of crème fraîche. Do you want to do a quenelle? Not really. No. Not with that. <laughs> I can give you a dollar. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you put it over my arm. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Caviar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll give another one. Yeah. But I think this is versatile. It's different. Oh, I don't want that. Right. Well, that's the recipe. No, it isn't. It is compared with the creme fraiches in there as well. What's that? I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be around years ago, but I forgot. And you get me all flustered, so I can't remember what anything <laughs> is. <laughs> So, so, so give us this name of this dish. So it's parsley pancakes, uh, more snow smoked salmon, creme fraiche, lemon, optional caviar. Lovely. Happy man. New Year, everybody. <laughs> Go <Gold> Black is <laughs> <laughs>
Well, five, six, I'm using a little orange bitters, optional. So what have you put in there then? So you right, put in that, the, the side, any cider or it's got a particular cider? I've got, right, I'm using a scrumpy, a still scrumpy. Yeah, you can use any cider, but a nice still scrumpy, you want five of those. Five of those, Five yeah. of those in there, so that's, that's a third of a bottle of spiced rum going in with it as well. While that's going on, I'm going to get busy with our syrup. So let's have a look, where's our... Which right. one do you want on, the back one? Back one? Back one is full on. Full on. Front well, one's on low. There right, you go. lovely. Cool. So we're going to swiftly heat up a, sh a sugar syrup, a base sugar syrup to start. I'm using a mixture of golden caster and regular caster sugar. There's no point leaving that in there, is there? Should we get that in for luck? Might as well. Yeah. Go on, then. <laughs> 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 it's Christmas. Don't hold It's not back. going back to Cornwall with you, then, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Right, alongside that, we're going to need a little water. I'm making it what we call a rich, simple syrup. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chef, you, you, you do one-to-one -one syrups in the kitchen, don't you? Equal parts sugar and water. Usually, Usually. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so on a bar, we use two-to-one, OK? So you want it slightly richer, and it carries the flavour okay. a little better. OK. Um, so that, we're going to need rum. You mean I'm two parts sugar? The rest of the... Two parts sugar, one part water. Two parts sugar, one part water, or yeah. liquid. In this case, the liquid's split between water and... Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tell me what you think. Cheers, Paul. Tell you what I think. <laughs> How does that taste? Oh, that's lovely. That's, that's right. That's delicious. Mm, something it's refreshing. Very nice. It is, I think, refreshing and, as I say, just reflects the season a little bit more. Right, yeah, OK. Know? And this, this I'm going to take okay. some rum, is that right? Uh, I've got it in there already. Oh, you've done it? All right. Done it. So, we're going to make our spices ready. Okay. Traditional Christmas spices. We've okay. got cinnamon, break it in there. Yeah. Powdered ginger. Star anise. And now, more unusual things for body. I've got sultanas and raisins. Mace to lift it. Love mace. Mace is brilliant. Yes. Love mace. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's not you, I don't think mace is given nearly enough love at Christmas. No. It's the, um, it's the, it's, it's the dried outer part of the yeah. nutmeg. The husk. Yeah, the husk yeah. of the nutmeg. Precisely. Beautiful. Thank you, Jim. Uh, little walnut. And juniper. Because the chefs, we think we know how to make a mulled syrup, but this this is this is a bit different, isn't it? Really, you fancy. You used to just put in wine and everything in it and sugar and not really. But and the boiling temperature it. is quite cre crucial, though. You were saying. Uh, yeah, because you don't, don't want to burn them. I just want to heat them enough to. There we go to bring out the aromas, and I'm just going to throw a little touch of our. There's a blowtorch over there. Spice here. Right. There you go. Here we go. Lovely. Right, and there we go. Toast them. Lovely, and this will just help bring out. I think I've been inspired by Cyrus and, uh, yeah, and well, they did, Yeah, they do this thing, a little bit of liquid in there. <laughs> right, um, and there you go. I can use the tangerine halves just to wipe out the pan, get all of that spice in there. Right, there we go. It's got a little tangerine juice in there. Yeah. Brilliant. All you then do is you bring that back up to heat, strain it off, right, and bottle the result, which I have some here. Oh, Wonderful. Right, which this, we can now add to our bottle. Oh, it's so lovely, lovely. I've got two orange peels going in there. And squeeze in. Now, honey and thing, and then... About... You're going to need quite a lot of this syrup for this much. So it's going to be... So this is the powerhouse behind it already. This, this, is, this is the main flavour, yeah? This is. And now, if you want to, you can put a fancy garnish with it. Once that's up to temp, you can drink it as is. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, we give that a little stir, mix it all through. But I like to do a little fancy garnish. You can either use... You can either use store-bought ones instead of cocktail cherries. You can get, I've got here, for instance, some pears, or I've got um, syruped peach there as well. It's also wonderful. But I've decided to take um, dried apricots, and we've dipped them in a touch of the leftover syrup there. Dried apricots dipped in the syrup and then dipped into hazelnuts, cinnamon and ground almonds. Oh, nice. Nice. Right, yeah. So, how are we doing on there? That's feeling pretty warm. Mm. Right. I'll check it, I'll check it. And we're almost getting there. <laughs> Have we got glasses? Here they go. So this is about 55, something like that, is that right? Oh, you've got a probe, wonderful. Yeah. 55's good. So what's the maximum you should let it get to? 55, 60, right, really. Okay. 68 Ooh, is where technically alcohol boils off. I think a little lower than that as well, because some of it will start, some of the flavours will start going at that right, point too. Okay. So 55, 60 is nice. So once you've made it in a house, for instance, for a day, you just ladle forward what you need into a pan and warm it. On the go as you go. We're ready when you are. We're ready when you are, sir. Let's pour it out and see. <laughs> Looking forward deep. to this. I'm going to start. Yeah. You know this is going to be good. Look at Paul. Oh, <laughs> <very> lovely. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there you go, Paul. You've helped me to pleasure so much. Absolute yeah. pleasure. It's been a... Yeah, I'll pass them around for you. Nice. Pass Thank you. Around. Pass them over. There yeah. you go. So what's the idea? You dip the dip the fruit in the drink as well. Is that is that the idea? Yeah. If you'd like to, you can. But otherwise, I'd say just chomp on the fruit, enjoy the mole. 
James, you don't mind if we all stay tonight, do you? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be driving what is, home. What is really interesting, I think, as chef's point of view, we would just make this and just boil it up and done it. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think about yeah, it. We've been not, doing it wrong for right. all these years. Well, no, it's not if right. You, if you heat it beyond 60 degrees, that, they say the alcohol burns off. Yeah. I get it, totally get it. I see. And so, yeah, you just have to be sort of quite gentle, I think, with, with alcoholic ingredients. Well, that fruit um, dipped in there is absolutely yeah. Oh, you gorgeous. dipped it in? Yeah, yeah. You can dip it in or not. Do it, mm. do it in oh, one. Lovely. It is, isn't it? Uh, one, two, four, five, six. How does that work for you? Yeah, that's at a different level, isn't it? Oh, this is so good. What is that all about? Yeah. The right wow. amount of sweetness. Nice. Yes. It's kept some of the tang from the cider. So where does all good. that wine and all that sort of stuff come from? That's just a different type of mole, is it really? It's just a different... Yeah, it's the thing. glue vine, originally. Right. So sort of burnt, uh, hot wine, warm wine, burned wine yeah. idea that we get. And but I think this these is days... a different thing altogether, isn't it? Really? Yeah, that's right. I think it is. And it's nice to be able to experiment with your moles. Oh. But it relies upon getting a nice mould syrup together oh. first, and then you can spice everything else. That's we've the... got oh, 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 oh. That's what we've got over here. No, oh, the, oh, no oh. this is the wow factor, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Merlin Griffiths, everybody. Wow. It's really amazing. Now, Alexis, you're going to be falling for us now. You better go get ready. Can get I take a drink? No, I think you should get that <laughs> I'll get that later. You can have it afterwards as well. Uh, well we've still got time for loads more cooking this morning, including the masterclass in summer mousse and smoked mackerel pate. But right now, hold the peel and the sprouts. Pause the turkey. Put your bread sauce to the side because we're heading outside now for a very Christmassy performance from the brilliant Alexis French. Yes. <laughs>
doing better. That, that, <laughs> that was class, <laughs> class. Alexis, everybody, this is from the brand new album, Christmas Piano. That was amazing. It's, you know what, it's such a pleasure to be here and play this piano. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay. <laughs> in front of that this was choir. absolutely fantastic. Right, we're serving up the ultimate cheese board for all of my guests later on. And we've got another musical surprise for you at the end of the show. But join us again after the break for a little master class of my very own. I'm not using this, though. I'll see you after the break. Welcome back. Now, the very talented Paul Ainsworth will be treating us to the ultimate Christmas sandwich shortly. But first, it's time for this week's Little Masterclass, and I thought I'd show you how to make some different fish pâtés and mousses that you can have for your Christmas table, or using a little bit of leftover bits and pieces that you got this Christmas. But this... I had to have that first. This is a first one. We're going to do a little smoked salmon mousse. Smoked salmon mousse is so, so easy. And you can glam it up a bit if you want. I'm going to do smoked salmon mousse. I'm going to do like a whipped potted shrimp. But you can utilize any sort of fish for this one. Leftover bits of salmon if you wanted, cooked salmon. This is just delicious. And then a classic smoked mackerel pate. So the first thing we do is do our smoked salmon mousse. So for that, you need a little blender. Take the smoked salmon, pop that into the little blender like that. Before we blend it, we just take a touch of black pepper. So, a little bit of that gone in there, a little bit of black pepper over there, and just the zest and the juice of a lemon. Just a little bit. A little bit to get zest. You get so much flavour out of the zest of a lemon as well. So, a little bit of that. Don't just use the juice. That can go in. Now, as this goes in, take the seeds out would be a good idea. That one. There. And then we can blend it. And you want to blend this first before you add the cream. So just blend it. And then when you get to this point, then we take some double cream. Now, I like to add just double cream to this, and you can pour it in while it's blended. You gradually, gradually pour it in. You can get the texture of how you want. It's important when you add the cream, just to bear in mind, you can actually over-mix it at this point. That is kind of a salmon mousse. Easy as that. I mean, it's so, so simple to make. Just a little bit of black pepper in at the beginning, touch your lemon, that's it, really. That's all you need. If you want to glam it all up, you can take one of these little moulds. You can do this in a teacup. It's entirely up to you. But just take a, a little bit of oil. I use a little bit of vegetable oil for this. It's not going to add flavour. Basically, what this is going to do is make the cling film stick to the bottom of the mould. So a little bit of this. This is if you wanted to do something a little bit fancy. You can then take a touch of the smoked salmon that we've got over here. You can cut it. And then you can line this in the bottom. So just a couple of pieces of smoked salmon like that. That's that. And then you take another one and just line this with a little bit of salmon. Now, you can do a larger one of these if you want. But what you can do is take your smoked salmon mousse and just pop that in there. And you see how quick this was to make. We go. Just in case you've got any leftover bits of salmon that you want to use, and it makes it go a lot further, to be honest with you. If you didn't add any cream, a little bit of mascarpone, something like that, a little bit of creme fraiche. Creme fraiche, when you whip it, it can split and separate a little bit, so try and get double cream if you can. But all you want to do is just fold this over, press it down nicely, take the cling film, fold it over again, press it down. You can keep this in the fridge now, this will last for two, three days in the fridge until you when you want it, or you can serve it straight away. And when you serve it straight away, just hold the cling film in between your finger and your thumb and just take the mould off, and it comes off like that. It's so, so easy. You've got one that we're going to put there. I'll just lift this across so you can see it. I like to sort of soft serve this, really, as well, so you can take a little bit of that on there. What I mean by soft serve is that... It's become trendy over the years. Instead of putting it in the moulds, what chefs do is just put a, literally a dollop on it there, and people can just help themselves. But the key to it is just blend the salmon beforehand rather than do it all in together. Otherwise, you can separate the cream bits and pieces. While we're doing that, we're going to do this whipped butter. This is another one. I love this. Think of potted shrimps. Potted shrimp is a combination of butter, shrimp, and a few different spices. Mace, particularly, which we've got over here, and a little bit of lemon. But we're going to sort of soft serve this again. So we just take some butter. It can be salted and unsalted. It's entirely up to you. But you want to whip this up now. Now, while that's whipping up, 
we can serve this and look at our sort of spices. You can get the spices from this. This is called gentleman's relish. My, my granddad used to love this. This is always for sale in supermarkets. Anyway, but particularly around Christmas time. It's like an anchovy paste. This, my granddad, swear by this over toast and bits of pieces. It's beautiful with a little bit of butter. You can use a bit of Henderson's, a bit of Worcester sauce, but this is the key to this. It's a little bit of mace, which is like a spice, but it's particularly a spice that you can either get the whole form, which is a bit of a nightmare to prep down. You need to blend it. You're better off getting the powdered form, to be honest with you. And then what you want to do is you want to flavour the butter with a touch of this mace. Now, it's quite strong, so just be careful with it. You can add a little bit of this. This is also quite strong. Touch of the anchovy in there. And it's purely optional. If you haven't got that, just a little bit of Henderson's or a little bit of Worcester sauce, something like that, that would go in here. And we want to whip this up. Some lemon. Nice squeeze of lemon juice going in there as well. These whipped butters are so, so tasty. They really are. And then I'll just get a spatula. And then we'll just knock the edges down a bit and go again. Like that. But you see, by whipping the butter, it becomes much, much lighter. It's exactly what we want. So you keep whipping this. Now, I've got some little brown shrimp over here. You can, as well, if you want, use leftover bits of salmon. It can be smoked salmon, it can be cooked salmon, hot smoked salmon, it can be anything. It could be mackerel that I'm going to use for my next one. But just plain cooked salmon would work really well in here as well. Just that over the top of some toast. But you whip this all up, take this off to one side. That's done its job. Leave that over there. And then, obviously, season it with some black pepper. And then, not forgetting, a little bit more like lemon. The zest as well. That goes in there. You can put things like herbs with it as well. And then we've got these amazing little brown shrimp. Like these, they go in. And you can mix this together. And this is amazing with a little bit of cooked fish. But all you do is you take that and put that on the side as well. But there you have your whipped potted shrimp butter that tastes absolutely fantastic. The final one that I'm going to do is the classic smoked mackerel pate. For that, I've got some classic smoked mackerel over here. Beautiful fish, absolutely delicious. People are off put, by, off put by it because of the bones, really. When you buy it like this, most of the bones are out. If there's any bones still in there, it's usually, I'll show you, they're kindly taking a little V-cut out of it. If there's any bones, it's usually in this little bit as well. So that's the bit to look out for. But that's where the bones are if there's any left in there. But these look pretty clean to me. And what I'm going to do is just break this all up, take the skin off. And then for this, I'm going to change it slightly Still use a little bit of cream. You can use creme fraiche for this as well. But I've got some cream cheese in here. So I'm going to take some lemon again. Zest and juice. That's going to go in there. Bit of lemon juice in there. And then a good squeeze of black pepper. You'll notice that I'm not really using salt for any of this because the way that you make a lot of these, particularly the smoked salmon and the, the smoked fish anyway, is it's salted anyway, so there's no real need. So it's black pepper is what you need for this. And then I like to, you can use a spatula, but it's Christmas. Get my hand in. We mix this together like that. Once you get to that bit, we can then add a little bit of mascarpone. You can put a little bit of creme fraiche in there if you want. If you're putting creme fraiche, like I was saying, it's, it goes a little bit water if you overmix it. Just, just be careful if you don't overmix it. And then I've got another spatula over here. And we can just break this down with a touch of double cream. And you incorporate this until you get this pate that you want. I mean, it is so, so simple. Look, you break it all down. Usually, really, it's equal quantities of each is what you want. Because mackerel has got a beautiful flavour. But you can see how quickly, with that little bit of mascarpone, how quickly this all comes together. You just mix that all together. And again, you've got smoked mackerel pate. Easy as that. I mean, it's so, so simple. You just put that with it as well. Nice and easy. These are great to use any leftovers you've got at home, really. Or if you want something really simple, obviously you've got... Bit late to go shopping now, isn't it, really? But if you want to go out 
and get stuff for New Year. It just gives you a nice little thing, whether you do it anything a little bit fancy with that. It's so simple to make. A little bit of watercress, a bit of toast, and there you have it. Three different ways with fish and a few shrimp to make pâtés and mousses this Christmas time. Easy as that. <laughs> now, I'll be laying on lunch uh, with an epic cheese board selection at the end of the show, but I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes when Mr Paul Ainsworth, top chef, Michelin star chef Paul Ainsworth, will be wowing us with a sandwich. Welcome back. Now I'll be serving a, a final show-stopping dish of my very own shortly before we head off down to the pub for a Christmas party. Can't but wait. first, I'm not saying that this chef isn't tight with his ingredients, but <laughs> with the three wise men, gave him gold, frankincense and myrrh, sprinkled them on top of a little bit of monkfish and charged them 90 quid. <laughs> hang, on, hang on a second. <laughs> You've added 30 quid on top. I know, exactly. <laughs> it says 60 quid on there. Because I know you. <laughs> Paul with <Ainsworth>, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> so, how much are you going to charge for this yeah. sandwich? To be fair, as you were reading down, I thought it was because you were like, he's brought a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, so uh, I've done this recipe because, personally, I love sandwiches. Uh, these are all the ingredients I think that you're going to have at Christmas and tomorrow, Boxing Day, yeah. make this. Yeah, OK. So, yeah, if you could... I'll come, I'll come on to this, but if right. you could spread... That is a, basically a mayonnaise with three mustards, English, Dijon and American. OK. So you could so. spread that all over and I'll come on to why you do that and then flip it over and put the press back yes, on these chefs. Yes, chef, do that. No Thank you. Right, we're going to build the sandwich. So, there's a few layers to this, but it is absolutely worth the effort. Right. So, the first thing we've got is Marmite butter, <laughs> all right? So, we spread that on. And then there's a little bit of lemon juice in that butter as well, Merlin. Ah. So, it's just, yeah, absolutely delicious and just starts the flavours. Next. Other yeast extracts are available, but I don't know which they are. No. <laughs> okay, there, we go. there we go. So I've got red Leicester, cheddar and mozzarella grated, but this is a secret ingredient, dry chilli flakes, and I've put some cracked black pepper in there as well. Is that, is that equal quantities of each, roughly? Yeah, Apart yeah. from the so, chilli. So the, what I've got here is 90 grams of the cheese, equal yeah. quantities, 10 grams of the dry chilli and a good couple of twists of cracked black pepper. Nice, nice. Now, you get the cheese really, really generous with the cheese. Now, I don't know whether we can talk about this, but we can do. You're, you're bringing out your first ever cookbook, are you? Yeah, first ever book. First ever book yeah. next year? Yeah. Deserves a round of applause, yeah. doesn't it, really? Yeah. First ever cookbook. Thank you very so much. Your first ever cookbook. What's that been like, writing it as well? Because you've done a few golden yeah. as well, but what, what's that been like? It's been a it's been a brilliant experience. I've got to I've got to say, you know, like how we all like to do everything as chefs. We want it yeah. right. I want it to be a book. Is this a chef chef book? No, no. This is recipes from Cafe Reggiano, the Mariners, things right. I cook at home, it's the pancakes I cook most Sundays with yeah. CC, stuff yeah. like that. So just dishes that are totally accessible, but yeah. at the same time big on flavour, okay. and every recipe just, yeah. So that's, your, that's the mortadella that you just... So I've got the mortadella on there. Now, little things, fold it the same way as a sandwich, all right? So, like, any ham you're going to use. Yeah. Then here I've got salami, just nice, what you call salami Milano. Next... Can I take this and put, yeah, it, put, absolutely. It, put it in the oven now? But I'll just... Um, just before you do, James, the, right. the reason... And I learnt this, right, so all the American street food trucks that serve those Cuban sandwiches, what they do is they spread mayonnaise on. But because a Cuban sandwich traditionally has mustard in it, I was like, well, I'll put the mustard in the mayonnaise. You spread that all over, and then what happens is the fat splits out, and then the eggs just give you this, like, really amazing texture. You're it's selling it, you're selling it, you're selling it. It's amazing when you watch them do it. Don't miss this next bit up, though. Right. There we go. Now, there. pickles. Just lay those. Now, again, these are just, again, pickles I'm sure you'll have around at Christmas. Look okay, at Merlin's. Merlin's thinking, of, what right. can I do for a drink with this? Like a beer, Merlin, a beer! <laughs> <laughs> now, to be fair, it looks like now, again, you know, yours, like, James. Boxing, <laughs> boxing Day, have all the ingredients out like this and then just make them all up. I say, Gold's looking at this going, he's, he's devastated. He would cut this in about 15 million pieces. Yeah, I know. He, he, would, exactly. he would turn that into a mill for you, wouldn't yeah, he? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would serve at least 14. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> and right. just it like literally it. pan on and your first layer, like I said... So like this is you... where you're on about the mustard. You put yeah. this on the, the, the base yeah. of the pan side down. Yeah, so a lot of the sandwiches, they'll put the mustard inside the sandwich, but we'll put the mustard in the mayonnaise. So you've got that American, Dijon, English 
So... Well, so there's no butter as well, you see. Like an English sandwich, we always put butter, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Well, there may Just be if I ever go at this on Boxing Day, there may be a Well, you, remember, you, got the, you got the Marmite butter. Yeah. Yeah, in, uh, in the you middle. see. All right. right. OK. OK. Yeah. Now, just simply... So you get all of these done up, and then just in the pan, on with the press. But the key to this is cook it slightly it. gently to start with. Then. Absolutely. Real, real low heat, and just let it do its thing both sides. Once you've got that lovely texture, straight in the oven. Now, this bit, again, is... Uh, should be ready, James. Thank that you. It's definitely melted now. There yeah. we go. OK. I'll put you some on. Take that out. out. Like that. Look at that. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> 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 Honestly. Uh, Look at the smile on his face, this Michelin <laughs> star, man. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, I I mean, 2020... I would, I would absolutely say, like, honestly, uh, last meal, a, a sandwich would feature on, on the menu. Would it? Would it? it really would. I absolutely would be love him. Oh, I don't know. Full English. Full English. Good. Full English. Good. Good. Bigger than what you normally do when he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a steak. Yeah. A steak. 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 Yeah, steak. <laughs> steak. So, straight, can you just turn that heat down a bit for oh, me, James? Wow. All right. Fish and chips so would be mine. You want, you want the parmesan. Yeah, that's you want a little bit in the middle, but a, a good, healthy amount round the edges. Now, you see how that par parmesan is just instantly, because of the heat. Yeah. All right? Yeah, that's good. OK? That's very good. Now, yeah. sandwich, straight in. All right? And just let it do its thing. That's very good. All right? I like that. Now, this next bit is absolutely optional. It does not need it, but it's Christmas Day. We're round your house. Yeah. So I brought this with me. White truffle. Yeah. I have that all the time. Now I remember last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't <laughs> act all humble now. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. So just get let that heat. Just. So while that's doing that. Yeah. And just slowly sat there. The cheese is melting. Right. You need to put a supplement on that. All right. Yeah. Supplement. We're just. That's the biggest truffle slicer I've, I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I've not well. seen one like that. Yeah, it don't work either. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put it her thicker cutting. Yeah, you know trim. what? I saw you know some in mean? here. I saw some in here earlier. <laughs> do you, do you the, yeah, do you want one of my truffle slices? Yeah, what a but much more. <laughs> do you want a proper one? I'll tell you what, that looks good. Look at that, just caramelising in there. Yeah, yeah here we go. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to go brown around yeah, the edge. Temptation if we lift this off too early, doesn't yeah, it, really? Yeah. And just leave that in there, let it do There its you thing. go, you proper right. truffle slicing. Yeah, you see? Do you know what I mean? I thought I'd, I thought I'd right, come up with right, a fancy. Chef, all right, fancy, I'm thinking uh, of you here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks the part, though, doesn't it? Looks hey? great. Looks... <laughs> right, now, just literally go in. Like that. Oh. All right, now just if you could just take that off the heat, James. Can I just say, Johnny on camera two has just wet himself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now he do just. I feel like the Paul Ainsworth, James Martin version. I'm doing it with parmesan. You normally do this with sugar. I, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That looks amazing. Though. Do you just right. got to leave it for no, yeah? Just let time. let that let that air get to it, and then you're just and making the this simple batter is turning it over. Yeah. Just let, and then like that. Oh yes. And that yeah, very good. I mean, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can I have a new plate? Oh, yeah. cheers, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. There's one on the back there. There you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, I like Serrated that. Serrated knife. Serrated knife. Thank there you. There you have it. Yeah. Cheers. Now you can carve it any way you want, but if you want to just leave the. Leave that intact. Just go on the on the angle like that. That looks amazing. Look at that. I'm just gonna start doing that to all my sandwiches with the parmesan. Yeah. Just look at that inside there. <laughs> look at that. Do you want another plate? No, no, we're good. We're good. So just that. Like that. And where it's nice and thin, you've got the nice heat of the sandwich, you'll just kind of warm that truffle. And that is totally optional. You you've obviously. Cooked, do... I'm more impressed. Not about the sandwich. You've cooked in a velvet jacket. You've got a single, <laughs> not a single mark on it. <laughs> it's, it's not. Nothing. It's not velvet. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry. Like, like it's not velvet. <laughs> I've just felt it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what is it? There you have it. Suede. Yes. It's 100 percent 
polyester. But that's <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the ultimate Boxing Day sandwich. That's what it is. The brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Paul Lazers, everybody. <laughs>
um, were looking for an organist. He put me forward, age seven, and from that day on, it was me. Every service, weddings, all the rest of it. Love this. Um, and it was just for me really special. And actually, that's where my love for the music that you just heard me play, that's where it really grew, because Midnight Mass, for me, was just like the most magical time. Well, I know, you sat next to somebody who's a lover of music as well. Love I mean, DJ is a slightly different thing, but you still, the appreciation of great music I is... love yeah. Denise's voice. I've got, that's the first thing I said to her. Her, your singing voice is spectacular. Thank you so much. Absolutely spectacular. Well, you must have an appreciation for it as well, because the West End as well. I mean, yeah. yeah. Do you miss the, Do you miss that? Do you want to go back to that? Do you... I will go back to it, and yeah. actually, I'm going to be in theatres next year because I'm going to be doing a tour with Duncan James. Oh, We've amazing. decided to put a show together. Are you going to be? Because last yeah. time you were here, you did the, you did the amazing. You raised money for. Tell us about the single then, because you for were raising Macmillan, money. For Macmillan Cancer, we uh, recorded that's what friends are for. Because obviously I love that song, so it did really well. And then we thought, do you know what? We need to do something together. We do Gogglebox together, which is really fun. I, lo I love that. The oh, chemistry on it. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, We're really close friends. We both did a big cabaret show in London at Proud, mm. and with amazing acts. We had Ariel, Burlesque, you know, Fire Acts. So we're going to take it on the road, and we're going to do Den and Dunk's Big Night In. Awesome. So That's going we're to be touring. Great. It will be. It'll be quite spectacular. And again, we'll include some sort of musical theatre. We've both done West End shows. Mm. So we're going to have um, a bit of a a fun time on the road, wow. I think, together. Because, I, mean, I mean, you're touring all over the place as well, aren't you, really? Yeah, well, we just finished a, a massive tour, actually, in Europe, uh, being all over. I think it started in uh, Copenhagen, all, all sort of wonderful places, uh, big cities in Europe. Drury Lane, we did on the 19th of December. That was absolutely incredible. And, um, yeah, it's just like a whirlwind time, but I'm just so, so grateful for all of it, James. And also, we're going to talk about the album in a second, but I've got... To, I'm putting all these chefs to work, you see. I'm having apart, a drink. Apart from what I've got, I've got to have a drink. Can I just point out that James poured the wine? Look at my glass compared to... I don't know what's going on here. Denise, Denise, I just... Because I know you... I, it saves me pouring two, <laughs> to be honest with you. It is Christmas, after it all. It saves me having to come back twice, because I know it's going to happen. But, look, we're just going to take... This is Tumworth, which is a local cheese. To me, you take a little bit of the... the, the the rosemary over the top. Over here, I made a little chutney. Basically, what we're doing is thickened up that little. This is a, a nice little, little like a cheese fondue. So you've got, uh, you've got. I mean, it's Emmental. You've got a bit, a bit of cheddar in there. We thickened that with a touch of cornflour. You've got riesling, bit of white wine, uh, and then what you do is you take the rosemary, stud it over the top like that in the brioche, which I've made, and just pop that straight in the oven. I've taken the figs, melt that down with a little bit of Telegio cheese. We've got a little bit of chutney over here. I've got a nice little bit of Stilton over here as well. Uh, I've got a nice little album that we'll put on here, which you can tell me about your amazing album. So tell us about the album that comes that, you, that you're launching. You know, it reminds me of my dad's because um, it's, uh, it's the music that he loved as well. I spoke about, uh, played Christmas song earlier, the Chestnut song, which, which he absolutely adored. I always think of Nat King Cole when I play that mm. song. What a classic that was. And, um, but it's got all the classics on there, some originals as well, things like Together at Last, which I wrote with my son. Well, tell you me about, me? because you're, you're a dad now. Now, oh, yeah. uh, your, your wife's musical as well. I mean, yeah. I mean the whole thing is that your, your, your son's a, I mean, mega guitarist. Yeah, my, my son, well, my wife and I met when we were 18 years old, dancing at the Royal Academy of Music. Uh, Freshers Ball, and we met that night. We've never, we we spent every every night together every ever since. Oh, it's just, that's so nice. um, I never. She's here today. Um, I won't mention her name because she doesn't. She's very much in the sort of in the background. But she's I've met just, her. She's, lovely. she's not. Been, she's been eating cheese all afternoon. That's what. <laughs> <it's>, that's, <laughs> she's she's away in a corner munching something. But yes, we have got two wonderful kids. And uh, we are so, so proud of them. We're so, uh, we feel so, so fortunate. Well, I've said that, I am so proud to be able to be stood here doing this show at my house with all my friends, amazing yeah. guests. So thank you so, so much for coming and joining me on Christmas for this. But I thought I'd now put you all to sleep <laughs> by letting you feast on this because we've got in here deep fried brie over here. And we take this, this is, this is called chili crack. This is, this is amazing sort of stuff, you know, this is, this mm, is fantastic sort of stuff. It's chilli, it's, it's nuts, it's spice, it's a bit of everything. Did you say chilli? Chilli crack. Oh, my goodness. And we put this wow. over the top. And you, the idea is this, we just... You lick the board afterwards, just get the remaining bit of the right. cheese. <laughs> <laughs>
This is dangerous. <laughs> we've, got, stuff, we've got a fondo over here. You could dunk things like greener in it if you want, but a bit of that, that goes in there. That, yeah. You've got your deep, your, your baked brie with a little bit of brioche to go with it. We've made a little sort of spicy little chutney with sugar, vinegar, the grapes and that kind of stuff. And we've got figs with dolce latte cheese, a little bit of mint, some uh, balsamic vinegar and olive oil. That is your ultimate cheese board. This is that is my job done for Christmas Day. Amazing. Thank you, and happy Christmas from me. Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>